bonus bacon. Yeah, we're gonna have to make some grilled bacon. That's gonna have to happen. It's not a waste. Homeless bacon. There's no such thing as homeless bacon. You know, maybe that that's a, a statement of social commentary. Yeah. We have homeless people, but no homeless bacon. So maybe if we treat our homeless like bacon to make it taste better. <laughs> <laughs> We're going straight to hell. All right, so I need to get some food fixed, guys. We'll get back to you. So I originally came up with this recipe using uh, wild boar loin. And uh, so you got the same diameter all the way. Uh, it works really good with uh, tenderloin because it's a smaller cut of meat, but you'll have this kind of this tip that tapers down. It doesn't make a good medallion. So what I do is I just take that whole tip and we'll just stuff it that way when we get to the jalapenos. And the rest of it, I'm just gonna cut them into nice size, thick medallions like that. I don't know why, I get this very satisfying feeling when I cut meat. I just... Maybe you... Uh... Dexter is your spirit animal. You know, I do really love me some Dexter. I hated the way it ended, but... So we got seven of them there. So that's two for everybody and three for me. You took the sauce away from... <laughs> I had to take the sauce away. Now we're going to take a smaller knife. And we're just going to put puncture. And see how I put that down there so I don't puncture myself? In there. Turn the knife a little bit. Kind of open it up. And we'll do that with all of them. Real simple. I thought you were going to go through the middle of it. No. It's a small piece of meat, so. And again, I came up with it for, for I did this with venison too, and, and feral hog. And as you know, most feral hogs, we've got, we've got that one big ass one this That's year. That's actually a good size loin for a wild pig. Yeah. The loin that I have in there from that one I shot this year is actually a little bigger than that. So we'll take a jalapeno, nip the end off, take the sides off, no seeds, very little pith. Pith, man. It's what it's called. Look it up. I get it. I just think of, you know, like the English pith helmet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we need to get pieces of these thin enough to shove inside those holes we made. And sometimes it'll fight you, but you just got to shove it. You got to make it go in. And then cut that. And actually, this one here was kind of shallow. If you need to, you can, you can open up more than one pathway. You want to get enough jalapeno in there for it to matter. This takes a little bit of time, but to me, it's very much worth it. This is actually how I got Dorothy to eat her first ever piece of wild pig. She was not hip on eating something that I shot. And when I made these, she said, well, I'll try that. And uh, I think she ate more than I did, which is very unusual. And if I wasn't figuring that Dorothy was going to eat this, I would probably use Serrano's for this, uh, a little bit hotter. but. Uh, the jalapeno, when you do this with it, it's extremely mild. As David can tell you, these, these aren't hot peppers at all. What the hell's wrong with me? Yeah, that's a longer conversation. We need to get us some salt and pepper. If you ever listen to a British chef and he just says to season it, that's what he needs, just put salt and pepper on it. Then we'll just take pig wrap pig. pig wrap pig, exactly. And what I like doing when I'm doing bacon, I like to kind of, like an ace bandage type of a wrap, so that you're kind of putting some tension on it. And we will go get some uh, toothpicks later and put a toothpick through there just to hold it. When you're doing, like you see that when I did that one long ways, when you're doing these here, don't try to be like they do in a restaurant where they put it around the outside. You want the whole thing covered in bacon. 
So go a long ways. Uh, Devil's backbone, what we had this morning. It's solid. It's like 9%. It's still less than a more. So I'm gonna do a little black pepper on the outside of this bacon, because, I mean, it's black pepper and it's a bacon, so it goes together. They both start with a B, so that's how you know. Okay. <laughs> any, any B word. No, only. I've, I've been cooking wrong my whole life. You probably have, but that has nothing to do with this. So we're gonna go ahead and just get these going. And I could get out my fancy schmancy thermometer and keep an eye on this temperature, but this is pork tenderloin. So when I think it's done, it's done. That's, that's how it's gonna be. So there we go. And we're gonna go a pretty low sitting on the grill for this. Let that fat render out of that bacon. And uh, David and I are gonna have ourselves a, a snack here. This is butcher box bacon, by the way. Mm. Oh, that's a good sizzle. That's what you want. Nice little cook. So I'm going to go make a basting sauce. and I not that hot. He's just a freaking baby. Mr. Chipotle. We got jalapeno on the inside. We got roasted smoked jalapeno on the outside. Olive oil. And you can edit in a recipe for this. Yeah. If you pay attention to what I'm doing. Well, I don't really like to use soy, even though I'm using two forms of it right here. But both of these have one thing in common. They're fermented. I do not use unfermented soy at all, except when I go to eat sushi and I will eat some of those edamame things because they're freaking so good. Yeah, that's that's the best eat for soy other than, you know, it's, it's near alcoholic. Right? But you, 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 can't, you can't eat that all the time. You're going to get soy boy face, man. Yeah. Uh, in this is beer, soy sauce, goenjang, which is, uh, or gochujang, doenjang, which is the soy paste. That's the soy sauce, the soy paste, beer, any kind you want. We use devil's backbone, a little bit of olive oil, some chipotle and adobo sauce. You buy them in little cans and a little bit of stone ground mustard, salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. Uh, you know what? If Marvin Gaye would add that to, to his soundtrack, then it would be knocked up all the time. Well, I was going to say, you know, we have this, this declining in, decline in population. I think that would reverse it alone right there. Marvin Gaye and bacon. Marvin Gaye and bacon. Oh, you hear that? I'm going to give the bacon a, a quick crisp on both sides in the skillet. And because we had this skillet sitting here, it's nice and hot. We'll kill that heat down, kill this heat down for now. I made a basting sauce that's uh, pretty unique. It's got some uh, fermented soybean paste in it. The base is chipotle peppers. Uh, David will have uh, an edit in of a recipe for you guys to make this sauce. It's got beer in it. What else I put in it, David? Soy sauce. Uh, soy sauce, uh, fermented soy paste, chipotle, uh, just a dab of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. And some uh, stone ground mustard. Stone ground, that's the one I was missing. Stone. So I just want, I just want a little bump of this. This stuff's pretty heavy. You can always put this on the side. We don't have to have, like, a, this is where people screw up on a grill. They put way too much of a sauce on and then it, since there's sugars in it, it burns. And burnt is not a flavor. Roasted is a flavor. Browned is a flavor. By the way, gamey's not a flavor either. That means you cooked wild game and you don't know what the hell you're doing. Criminal. It, it means you just, you, need, you should not touch venison if you think it's gamey. Become a vegetarian. Yeah, if, if you're gonna marinate your venison in Italian dressing because it's gamey otherwise, you don't deserve deer. Just send all your deer to us. And, and Skillet. And of course, we got a little bit of that uh, bacon grease now down in that skillet. And what we're going to do, those roasted uh, jalapenos, the ones David and I didn't eat, there was a method of my madness with those. They got all that grill flavor on them. And that's going to reinforce the flavor of that salsa verde, assuming 
that Dorothy didn't find it on us. Hmm, that's good. Huh? Yeah, been parboiled in salty water. We're still going to give them a little more salt and pepper here. Ah. And we'll close down and let them. You know, you want to serve your potatoes hot and your meat rested down to about room temperature, so this works out pretty well. All right. Do you think it sounds sexy? You should see it. <laughs> yeah, we'll do another uh, spoonful of the salsa in there. Since I have some, thankfully. God, you guys hammered this. You know it's getting a knife bite from spider monkey right now. Oh, it's Oh my god. Holy crap. See? Look at that patience. Damn. But again, none of this is difficult. I did hear a story about a guy that got tired of winning once. You know what they called him? A loser? Yep. But <laughs> nobody remembers his name. Yeah. People that say winning is everything, you know, I'm not going to say they're wrong. stuff, pork tenderloin, roasted fingerling potatoes with a tomatillo verde corn and a red pepper salsa. Yeah, if you if don't you, like that, you can just go to hell and die. Yeah, it's just, yeah. God, it looks awesome. So we hope you enjoyed our first uh, shot at this. I'm sure we'll get better. I don't know that the food will, but I'm sure we'll get better at our whole thing. And more importantly, if you didn't enjoy it, we did, so it doesn't really matter. That's true, and if you do want to see other things, if you have suggestions, etc., please let us know, comment below, and we'll pretend to pay attention. All right, off.